long. 2013, as some of you may know, not that I've emailed anyone, I think. Uh, Suffolk County decided to install a red light camera in front of my house, in front of my home, where I have my children, my wife. Uh, it, was, it was 8 o'clock in the morning. My wife, my, I had a one month old, my son, Russell, very colicky, we were up all night. All of a sudden, DBW trucks come, piled dirt on my front one that we just heated that weekend. No notice, no warning, no nothing. Absolutely yes and I. Ridiculous. We pay so much taxes. And I'm having Suffolk County dumping the dirt on my front lawn with no notice. Then they have the kahunas to say, hey, this is an unsafe intersection. I say, it is? I live here. No, it is. And they actually had me convinced. Commissioner Gill Anderson came to my house and had me convinced this intersection was unsafe. I'm saying to myself, as a volunteer fireman and EMT who's been living here for the past three and a half years now, and been volunteering since 2005, huh, maybe it is unsafe, even though I haven't responded to a car accident yet. So I said to myself, self, wake up. Wake up. This center section's not unsafe. Come on now. So I asked the DBW for information. Got nothing. Wayne Horsley, on my behalf, asked for uh, information. Received nothing. So I said, okay, where does DBW get their information from? So what I do? I foiled the police reports. But I didn't get that. So I said, what's going on here? So now I have police reports here. I have copies if you want. So they send me this generic one. 30 accidents in five years, which is probably what AALP's got. Right? Read the reports. Over 14 of them are wrong intersections. Miles away. Same road. Could be Montauk Highway. Could be Little East Neck Road, but not the intersection of Great East Neck Road and Arnold. I'm talking miles away. Totally wrong intersections. That's 14 of them. Uh, about another 14 or 50 of them, not even in the intersection, maybe 400 feet away uh, uh, in the shopping center, which is a shopping center about 200 feet away from that light, pulling out of that shopping center. Six of them are rear end collisions in five years. Six of them, which did increase with the red light camera. Five are right angle in an intersection out of five years. So this is the worst intersection in Suffolk County, they tell me. Gil, Gil Anderson told me to have my house for Wayne Horsley. Worst intersection. But when you read the police reports, when you actually read them, most of them aren't even in the intersection. So I don't know how they got this data. I don't know how they got this little sheet saying 38 accidents. I don't know where Suffolk County gets the right to interfere with my family after paying $10,000 a year in property taxes, uh, keeping my family up at night. Now, when you're at a light, and I'm asking this guy, this, I'm really asking you to say this, when you're at a light, all right, at nighttime, I'd like to give you a picture of my family. So this way, when that flashes in your car, you can think of my family in their living room watching TV. That's what I'd like you to do. And it, as you know, I'm your legislator now, uh, Dwayne Horsley, and I had the opportunity to visit your house. And, and can you just tell everybody a little bit about the impact it has on your family in terms of the, the red light camera going on and off? Well, this is a picture of my house now with a nice camera in front. So now we can't enjoy our porch, because every time I look at it, I turn red. You know, so I don't want to sit there. I look at my tax bill, look at that camera, I can't enjoy my backyard, but every time I look at it, my blood pressure goes up, my doctor says, take another pill, and that's it. So I gotta stay inside my house like a, like a sardine. I feel like I was invaded by Suffolk County. You know what it's like to be invaded by your own county? They dump a pile of dirt on my grass that we just heated. You know, I really feel like I'm at war with Suffolk. And not to mention, can I also mention, no warning notice. And then the DBW, when I go talk to them, I had my sprinkler on. So they came on and put a cone over it so they could work on it. Instead of just coming to my door and knocking, saying, can you turn off the sprinkler? Well, you know what? Send me a letter saying, you know what, we're working today. We won't block your driveway because we might need to volunteer and uh, respond to calls. So we won't block your driveway today. They block your driveway. That's very rude. Are you familiar with this in a house south of you on the same side of the street where it appears as though they actually the county has put that red light camera on their front lawn? On Grady Snag Road. The one yeah. uh, the one south of you. No, I know I know I know what you're talking about, but I don't know the people that live there. No, I said are you aware that they put it on his front lawn? He just yeah. contacted me because yes, he here yes. today and he said, Should they be paying me rent? <laughs> I yeah. said, well, that's my other should. thing. I said, give me a commission. Yeah. And it's really not that, it's also the light across the street from me. Also, you guys can't tell me who's watching these videos. So the light across the street from me is watching my kids leave, my wife leave, watching me leave. Who's watching these tapes? Is it a child predator watching my children? 
Is it a guy robbing houses, watching my house to see what times we're leaving? Who's watching it? Some guy in Maryland? I don't know. You guys can't find me. You guys can't find me. Did you say try? Um, you mentioned you were a volunteer fireman. Yeah. So, you also mentioned that the, the, the accidents increased after the equipment. And that's the other thing. Since 2005, I've been a volunteer EMT firefighter with the West Island Fire Department. Now, once has I been toned out for the intersection. After those cameras been installed, I've been in that section three times, two of them very major. Once I even had to be, file a report because I got blood borne, uh, I got uh, exposed to blood. That's how, uh, that's how bad it was. I had to file an exposure report. So let me get this straight. Before the camera, you never responded there once. Yeah. Since the camera was put up, you three responded times. three times, yeah. and there were major accidents. Major. <laughs> this and one, one actually needed a helicopter landing to transport him to a different hospital. That's how major it was. And once, it, and once it was so major they actually closed my street for hours for crime scene. As you know, as a cop, they close you down if they think the guy's going to die. They close the down from crime scene. So for hours it's closed down. On, on behalf of Suffolk County, I apologize to you. Well, thank you. Yeah, thank you, Danny.